Hi guys! So I'm really sorry about this funky kind of coloring, this lighting. It mm -hmm. kind of sucks. I really wanted to use my older sister's camera because it's awesome, but it died before I even got to start recording, so that sucks. And now I'm using my younger sister's camera that I usually used in my older videos. But anyway, today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of beauty products and stuff that I've acquired in the past couple of weeks. Um, I've used it all and so far I have absolutely no complaints with the stuff I've used. I also have a bunch of stuff from Icing Bot Bath and Body Works, I think it's called. And then I got something from Abercrombie, I think it's called. Um, so to start off with, online I actually got a box set like this. And it's Shawnee Cosmetics, the Masterpiece 7 Layers All-in-One Makeup Set. And this has to be the best thing I've ever got makeup-wise in my life. It is so freaking amazing. It's in this hardcover box, and it's easy to store. It's got a magnetic little snap to it. Um, so you open it, and there are seven layers. <laughs> Alright, the first layer, oh, it's kind of messy because I've used it, are really cute pastel colors. The second one are a bunch of greens, blues, and a couple of browns. I'm not sure if you can see it. And I like to keep the plastic covers on it because I find that it really makes it easy to keep clean. Uh, the next are purples, which is what I have in my eyes today. And these, this is probably my favorite one out of all the other eyeshadows. Um, and the last eyeshadow one is a neutral color one. Uh, close. Next is a concealer palette, and I was able to use this on my two sisters, which are actually not as pale as me, so that really works. It really helped with contouring and highlighting and all that stuff, and covering blemishes really, really well, so I really do recommend this. Uh, the next one is a blush palette, and that is really awesome too. You only need a tiny bit. Um, on the brush and it'll give you such a nice color. It's amazing. And the last one is a lipstick palette. And for a while I really wasn't a big fan of lipsticks, but when you have um, a lot of makeup on your eyes and you have um, blush on your cheeks, uh, a lip color can really, really just put it all together, I guess. So that's that. And I've been using this since I've got it. I've had this for like about a week now. And the colors blend so amazing. I really do recommend this. Um, on their website, it's on sale for $75 at the moment. But I was able to get this for $50 on Amazon. So if you guys want to check that out, you can just Google this and see if you find any cheaper prices, which is what I do with all of my online shopping. So that's that. Next, ooh, next is NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil. And my mom was actually online looking for stuff on Amazon, and she asked if anybody needed anything. And she came across these NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, and she asked me if they were good or not. And I told her NYX was a really good brand, but I really haven't tried any of the Jumbo Pencils. So it came in a pack of five on Amazon. I think it was about $14 with free shipping. And on the NYX website, there are four $4.50 each. So four fifty times five is more than $14, um, so I got a really good deal. Um, if you guys seen in my previous makeup tutorials, one of the earlier ones, I had NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow base, and it was like in a little pot kind of thing, and it was white, and I lost it uh, during my move, so this was a very good substitute. Um, it actually glides on a lot better than the little paint pot kind of um, container, so I've got I don't even have my glasses on. Milk, which is the white one. I've got pots and pans, which is a pretty silver one. Ah. I've got black bean, which is obviously a black color. I got yogurt, which has to be my favorite. It's a really pretty champagne color that you can use for a base for like browns and neutral looks. And then I got a, sorry if you can hear people talk in the background, um, iced mocha, which is a darker version of the yogurt. Next I have um, an eyeliner by NYX, and it came in this cute little box like this. Um, 
And ever since I started wearing liquid eyeliners, I've tried a bunch of them, and I pretty much haven't found the perfect one that I know I'm going to use for a really long time. So this was just another um, try kind of purchase. Um, and I really do like it. Um, it's the one I'm wearing right now. It's kind of got like a shiny um, hint to it. I really would prefer a matte kind of eyeliner, so I probably won't buy this again, but as for a trying purchase, it really was worth it. Um, it was on sale at Ulta, buy one, get one half off for all mixed products, so that was really good. Next I have BH Cosmetics. Um, this is a gel liner, and this is in the color Coffee. And this is something I've actually had for a little while now, but I just didn't touch it for some reason. I guess I didn't see that I had it in my collection. Um, but I did use this for my eyebrows, and it really goes on extremely well. I know BH Cosmetics is really, really affordable on their website, so I would check that out. Next, I got this at Icing, I believe. I don't know if it was Icing or Claire's. I think it was Icing. Um, and this is a um, makeup brush set. It only came with... I think I'm missing one. Okay. It came with five brushes. It came with a blush brush, an eyeshadow brush, a lip brush, um, an angled liner brush, and a small blending brush. And I really wanted this set because of the small blending brush. I had a bigger one that didn't have a name on it. I think I got it at like CVS. <clears throat> and it was too big, it was too fluffy, and it was just wasn't that easy to control. But when I got this, it was amazing. It makes everything I do so much easier. I used the uh, eyeshadow brush since I have so many of them. I used this for the concealer in my Shawnee palette. And I used this angled brush for my eyebrows and the lip brush for the lip gloss and lipsticks in the Shawnee palette also. And then the blush brush. Ah. And then it comes in this cute little case, and I think this was like $12.50. So cute, really easy to clean, and I really love this one. Next, I went to Ulta because I really, really wanted a liquid foundation. And I've been using, um, oops the uh, Dream Matte Mousse uh, for a while now, and I figured I'd try something different. And I got the Fit <coughs> Me by Maybelline. So let me twist this on right. It looks like that. And I got the color 120. And it doesn't have a nozzle or anything. Not a nozzle. A pump, which I think I should get one. But this goes on so well, you only need a really, really tiny bit to get a really nice coverage. It doesn't feel cakey or anything. You just put on some concealer and some of that and you're good to go. Um, and it really, I think it covers really well. And usually when I try liquid foundations, it's so oily. I feel so shiny and then I break out the next day. I've been using this for the last week and I actually felt my skin clearing up, which is kind of weird. Um, so I thought this was really good. Next, I got little blending sponges on Amazon.com. I'm pretty sure these are knockoffs from the uh, Beauty Blender because I'm sure that it's a little bit bigger than this one and it's pink, but I don't see why it works any less well. Uh, it came with four. It came with um, two of each of these shapes. Um, it, it came with a pink one, a purple one, then a blue one, and an orange one. And I gave the blue and orange one to my older sister because I don't need four of these. Um, and these were on Amazon. I couldn't tell you how much they were, but if you look up beauty sponges, you can probably find them. Because um, my mom got me these. Um, and next I got the Urban Decay D-Slick uh, Finishing Powder. Not powder, well, finishing spray. You spray this all over your face, and it pretty much... It's, it's a finishing spray. It keeps your makeup on all day. I've used the All Nighter spray before, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, this is a trial size. I can't remember how much it was, but I did have this for a while and I never mentioned it. Um, but this is really good to spray on your generic beauty blender uh, sponge and just dab around any places that you think are really cakey and it'll fix it up really, really fast. So I really like this. Next I got this foundation primer and I actually got this at my local uh, grocery store. And this is L'Oreal? 
if I'm reading that correctly without my glasses, and it came in this little box, and this is another one of my trying purchases, and it's this really creamy, light, really pale pink um, formula, and you just rub it all over your skin. It's really, really soft. It makes your skin feel um, perfectly in between dry and oily, so it's completely amazing. You fill this in any lines that you um, are self-conscious about, like smile lines, um, lines that you get under your eyes, <clears throat> and any cruise root or anything like that, and it'll actually fill it in so that way you have a nice smooth surface for your foundation. And I really like this. This is about $10, and I will absolutely buy this again every time I run out. I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy this. So next I went to Claire's, and the first thing I got was this Make-A-Wish Foundation Bracelet um, set, and a portion of the earnings go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, so I thought that was cool. Um, I'm going to get the pink one, and then I think my sisters are going to get the other two, so this was really cute. Next I got this really, really cute pack of earrings. I'm not sure if you can see them too well, but... Ah, uh, okay. Um, my sister got two, and it was buy two, get one free, so she was like, do you want a pair? Or, do you want some? And then I, I picked out these. They were so freaking cute. I probably should have put them on right now. But I just got home from work and I don't feel like it. So that was, that's what I got. Next, um, Beauty was buy one, get one half off. So I got really cute nail polishes. This is a pretty pastel pink. It doesn't look that bright. It's actually a little darker. It's showing up a little brighter on camera. Next, I got this gorgeous pastel um, mint green. And I can't wait to try this. Um, so yeah, I work at a pizza place, but hopefully they will not say anything, because all I do is answer phones. So I'm going to try these out. These are really cute. Next I got this really big, fluffy, fluffy brush. Oh my god, it's so nice. I haven't found, um, my other powder brush, which wasn't nearly as big as this, um, during the move. So I haven't had it for like about a month now, and I've been using a small blush brush. Or like a little kabuki brush to like get everything on and it was just it was just the best. So I love this, it's so soft and it's pink. It's pink. Okay. Anyway, that's that. Next I went to Bath and Body Works. The bag is really big because my family got a bunch of stuff. And I only got two things. Um, I got the white mango chill and oh my god, this stuff smells so amazing. It's the sweetest freaking smell in the world. And then I got the Mango Melon Twist Spray because this didn't come with a spray. It came with like, well, it came with something that was like really cold. It was like a summer mist kind of thing and it came out like um, a hairspray. So it was just really cold. I was like, I don't like it. So I got this, which smells different, but it smells just as good. So I'm going to wear both of these together. They're freaking awesome. So that's what they look like. And then I also went to Abercrombie, and honestly, I'm not a big fan of the place. I'm not a big fan of the clothes there. Um, I think they're way too expensive, but my brother-in-law actually got a $15 gift card. Um, so he asked me if I wanted to go in, and I picked something out. The bag still smells like the store. Um, yeah. And I'm not even sure if this is a bra or a top, but I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> um, I think this is a top because I've seen this around a lot on like Tumblr and stuff. That's what it looks like. It's ah, dark blue with pink polka dots and it's got like a little hole thing there. I'm probably not going to wear this in public. Um, my mom only approved of it for like working out and stuff, but it's not like I wouldn't get it anyway. But that's really cute and it still smells like guy. And then the very last thing I got, which was actually a gift for my, well, not a gift for my sister. My sister gave me this bag because she found a better bag for back to school once, so I got this. And it's such a cute, oh my god, it's so cute. They've got pink plaid. And I'm probably going to use this when um, I go to tech school. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to wear this. I have no idea, but I'm going to use this for when I get a new laptop. So that way I can record and upload better videos for you guys. And my voice just cracked because I had to burp. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave me any comments in the description. And if you could please um, 
go check out my website. I will have everything on my website with pictures um, of the stuff that I got today. So if you guys have any questions, just leave me stuff in the description. And I will also leave a link in the description so you guys can request new videos. Um, so thank you guys. I love you guys so much. And I just want to say thank you for everything. I finally hit 8,000 subscribers. And I think I gained like a about 2,000 subscribers in the last month, even when I wasn't uploading anything. So I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who helped me get to this point. Um, I'm not really proud of my past videos um, because of the quality and whatnot, but when I um, have the opportunity to afford a really good computer and a good camera, I will definitely be uploading a lot more videos for you guys. Um, I've been dying to do it for a really long time, and I just haven't gotten around to it, and I just hope I can upload some more stuff. Um, also, I entered a contest um, on bhcosmetics.com. It was a mermaid contest, and I don't even know if I got the top 10 yet, but if I do, I'm going to leave a link of that in the description too, so if you guys pull up the website and you do see my picture, I have my half blonde, half blue wig. Um, if you guys could please vote for me, I'm going to, um, uh, what is it? What is it? I'm going to get some stuff for myself, some stuff for my family. <coughs> Cracking! I'm going to get some stuff for myself, some stuff for my sisters and my mom, and then whatever money I have left over, I will start up a giveaway so I can finally do a giveaway. But the giveaway will not happen until after I get out of basic training and I leave September 10th for the Air Force, and I will be out on November 13th, so um, I'm going to keep you guys updated with that. If you could follow me on Twitter and Instagram and check out my website, everything will be in the description. Um, that would be so great. I love you guys. Bye!